that you were the person responsible for inflicting upon her loved ones and many friends all of the pain, shock, sorrow, and heartache they were experiencing and continue to experience a year after you murdered her. She is talking about the man who brutally murdered a beloved Strongsville teacher in her home. He was sentenced to life in prison today. Jeffrey Scullin facing life behind bars with a possibility of parole after 33 years. But still, no apology for Melinda Pleskovic's family. Now, Scullin has shown no remorse even as he faced sentencing as you just saw it. And the case is mounting evidence. He maintains his innocence. News 5's Tara Molina is live in the Tech Center with the latest. And Tara, this is not boding well for the family. Well, the family actually said, Frank, that this provides a little bit of closure for them outside the courtroom today. Of course, nothing can bring Melinda Pleskovic back. Nothing can change what Jeffrey Scullin did or how he behaved afterwards. But the family said this sentencing is what they hoped for, the closure they really needed. A beloved mother, wife, grandmother. The rock that held her family together. Coach, teacher, and more. Selfless beautiful with a caring spirit. Her loss, indescribable. Melinda and I had a game plan to downsize and live a, live a little simpler life as the two of us headed towards the next chapter of lives, towards retirement. That dream has been taken away as replaced by nightmares. But her family did their best in court today. My brother lost the best mother a child with Down syndrome could possibly have. My sister and I no longer have our smart, beautiful, and respectable role model mother to guide us. Our lives will never be the same because of Jeffrey Scullin. And heard Judge Pamela Barker say words they've been waiting a year for. You will not be eligible for parole until you have served 33 years. As a family, we feel that, that the sentencing was just. Um, it is closure for the family, and we did get justice for Melinda. 20-year-old Jeffrey Scullin Jr. sentenced to life behind bars with the possibility of parole after 33 years for the brutal and horrific murder of his mother-in-law-to-be, 49-year-old Melinda Pleskovic. Indicted on charges of aggravated murder, murder, felonious assault, tampering with evidence, making false alarms, and endangering children. But even today, no motive discussed. No explanation for stabbing and shooting the woman who allowed him to share her home, who helped raise his daughter, then leaving her in a pool of blood to have dinner with her husband and daughter. This defendant's DNA was found all over the revolver. Court records also show a large tactical knife was found on the backseat of a truck Scullin said he drove the day of the killing. Police said the knife had Melinda's blood on it, DNA belonging to Scullin on the handle. They also found the gun he used and sweatpants he was wearing with her blood on them. But despite overwhelming evidence supporting the case against him, even at the sentencing, Scullin showed no remorse. He issued no apology, and when asked if he had anything to say, Scullin, who remained unmoved during the sentencing, replied, nothing. nothing. The and fact that he's, I mean, maintained his innocence has been, I mean, not just only disturbing to the court, but obviously to the family. He's shown no remorse. Well, as we know, he's, the evidence, you know, that was obtained during the, the diligent work of the Strongsville Police Department was overwhelming. Um, he can continue to appeal this case. We have a very solid conviction. We're very comfortable going forward that that conviction will be upheld. But again, it just it shows his mindset that he could not at any point look back at that family that he has destroyed and at least apologize. Now, Scullin's attorney wasn't available for a comment after the sen sentencing. Scullin was given credit for serving 363 days. If released on parole, he'll be given post-release control with supervision for up to three years. Reporting in the Tech Center tonight, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.